Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is Thursday, November 14th, and today I'm gonna be filming a vlog. So it has been a hot minute since I've actually uploaded a video. As you may or may not know, this past weekend was spent in Mexico. So I was on a hunting and fishing trip in Mexico. I just wanted to let y'all know I am back home, I am safe. I never felt unsafe while I was there, although we were traveling through some very, very dangerous parts of Mexico. All was well, I had a great time. Anyways, this morning, I really don't know what I'm gonna get into, but I'm gonna bring y'all along with me, so let's get today started. Do y'all wanna see the saddest thing ever really quickly? Look at Mr. Coneheaded Cooper. Oh my god. <laughs> he looks so sad in this cone of shame. So today is Thursday. Two days ago he got neutered. And so when I'm not at home, I have to put the cone on him so he doesn't chew on his stitches. He is being a crazy mess. The surgery did nothing to impact him. It was a very small incision. Like I think there's only three to four stitches in it. But he has been a crazy animal ever since then. Yesterday I actually had to go to the vet and get him some sedatives because he was just running in circles like running into walls and I definitely didn't want him to pop those stitches open because that would be a very bad thing. So anyways I'm about to put them up and head out the door because I need to go pick up a couple of things. Watch how good my little cone-headed boy goes in his kennel. Cooper get in your kennel. Get in your kennel. <laughs> good boy, that is so sweet. Look at that good kennel. Oh my gosh. Oh, nope. He's like, I'm going to come out because I'm going to get another treat for doing it. Cooper! Oh my god. Gentle. No, there you go. All right, this time I'm closing the door. Look at that poor guy. So while he's in here with the cone on, I have my little Furbo dog camera that I keep an eye on him with to make sure he doesn't do anything stupid. But most of the time, he is a-okay. Bo thinks he needs a treat too. You want one too, Bobo? All right, I'll have to give y'all both one more before I leave. First stop of the morning is the gas station because I got in my truck and realized I was below empty. So currently filling up my truck with some gas, probably spending lots of money. Oh, $52. Yeah, that's the perks of having a truck. It's expensive. <laughs> I left my house and I was on the way to the Walmart because I need to go pick up some food as well as a couple of just random things. And Cody called me and was like, I'm gonna go to Walmart with you. So, I guess I'm not going to Walmart right now, but I am super, super hungry. And like I mentioned, we don't have any food at home. I was out of the country for five and a half days. Cody barely survived somehow, but we don't have any food. So, I decided to stop by Five Guys Burgers and Fries right here. And I'm going to run inside and pick me up a bunless burger to have for lunch until I can go to Walmart later and get us some food for the house. So let's run inside and get us some lunch. I am back home from my completely pointless errand running outing. As y'all saw, I said I was running into Five Guys Burgers to pick me up something for lunch. So I have a little secret tip to share with y'all. So I ordered a bunless bacon cheeseburger and a little known fact is if you order the bacon cheeseburger, you can add extra bacon and extra cheese for free. It only applies when you have the bacon cheeseburger but you can ask for extra, which is awesome. I also got a side of grilled mushrooms and grilled onions, and that is my order that I get at Five Guys. Five Guys has fabulous burgers, so I am about to dig on in. Hey Cooper, is it puppy lunch time? Hey, stop jumping. There's you a puppy lunch. Yeah. Last night, I stuck two of these mango black tea tea bags into my little glass bottle full of water. I let them steep all night, and now I just added a little bit of stevia into it. 
and I am going to drink it to go along with my lunch. For the past couple of hours, I have been editing my video from my time in Mexico. So make sure y'all go and watch this video. I'll link it down below. But go check it out because I put a lot of work into this video. So it is nearly five o'clock now. Hey! And Cody got home from work. That's right. So now we are running around doing some errands. We're going to Home Depot, Cracker Barrel, Walmart, Academy, Hobby Lobby. And that's it. I think that's it. Maybe. We'll see. You never know. But we're going shopping and we might buy us a Christmas tree. I'm oh my really god, excited. shopping! Oh yeah. my god, oh 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 my god. We're going shopping. Let's do it! You! He's so excited. That's right. Mainly for Academy. <laughs> So many ornaments. We are in heaven right now. Oh my golly. <gasps> are you excited? I am. <laughs> hey guys, guess what we just did? We may have just bought a Christmas tree. <gasps> I'm so excited. We're going home and putting up our Christmas tree right now. Oh my golly. Well, I mean, you're cooking when we get home. What's the talking about? <laughs> no, we're putting up this tree. I am excited. I am so excited. Cody and I just bought our first Christmas tree together. We got this seven and a half foot artificial tree that does like colorful and white lights. It was actually on sale. It was like 178. We thought it was going to be 200. So, a uh, score. It is Cooper's first Christmas, so hopefully he doesn't uh, pull over our tree. But I'm excited. We're about to throw it together, and it looks like it should come together really quickly, actually. While we were out and about, we stopped by Hobby Lobby and picked up a couple of ornaments. We don't have very many right now, so we need to go pick up more, but this is what we got so far. We got a cowboy Santa. We got a cowboy boot, since me and Cody both love cowboy boots. A little grill, because we grill all the time. A Santa, because Cody liked him. We got Gone Fishing, because obviously had to do that. This is a little revolver. I thought it was super cute with the glitter. And then we have these two ornaments that I bought at Tractor Supply the other day. And then Cody just found this ornament. My mom gave it to me for Christmas last year and it's a little boat. Oh my gosh, how cute. I totally forgot about that. We're hanging up our first ornament on our tree. Of course we're hanging the boat first. <laughs> All right, let's hang it up. Are we doing it together? We're doing it together. Oh, super cute. Somehow. Oh, oh. Hold it deeper, it's heavy. Woo! We did it! Yay! I am so stinking excited about our new Christmas tree. It just makes me so, so happy. Now, we've got to go get some more ornaments and some decorations and make it look all nice and pretty but it is a start it is now about 7 30 and we are gonna cook dinner today's video is not sponsored by green chef but i have this meal in our fridge and it looks really good so cody and i are gonna make this for dinner it is beef shakshuka maybe that's how you say it with feta so it's basically like ground beef poached eggs sauteed kale and crushed red pepper flakes. So it's definitely gonna have a kick to it. So Cody and I are about to whip this together and hopefully it turns out really good. We've got a world-class dicer upper right here, slicing up that onion like nobody's business. We are working on our meal right now. It smells really good. 
It has curry paste in it, and I'm usually not a big fan of curry. So I'm going to be intrigued to see if I like this or not. What you got to say about that? I hear you over here making noises, Bobo. What you doing? You snorting? Hoping you're going to get something? This has too much spice for you. I'm sorry. So basically you crack eggs into the like beef mixture that we made. You just cover it and let them cook for 10 minutes. Now we're going to saute up some kale to go with it. Here is the final outcome. We're just sprinkling it with some feta cheese and it'll be ready to be served. The eggs were too mushy for me so I gave them to Cody. But it's time to sit down and have us some dinner. Hopefully I really like this because I don't have anything else to eat. It is now after 10.30 and we had our dinner earlier. It was good. It wasn't fabulous. It's just different flavors than we were used to. We enjoyed it, but would I make it again? I don't know. But now, we are both laying here on the couch, and I don't know what just came over me, but I am flat out exhausted. Look at, wait, you gotta look at Bo. Hold on, hold on. I think Bo is tired too. Look at the way he is laying. He is sleeping on his food bowl. I don't know if that's to keep Cooper from eating it or what, but... That is absolutely hilarious. Oh my gosh. Crazy dog. Anyways, like I was saying, I am exhausted. I am struggling to keep my eyes open right now. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and close out this video so I can take the pups outside and go to bed. But I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't done so. And I will see y'all real soon with another video. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Little kiss. Mm -hmm.